Hi, my name is Ashton from Rupees Notions in Baker, Florida. Here in Baker, we have a good selection of machines, and one of our favorites is this tin needle you see right here. We have Brother and Baby Lock. This machine enables you to create all sorts of awesome projects, especially for business purposes. As you can see here, we have a bag hooped right now. We, you can do shoes, you could do monogramming on hats. If you want to get real creative, you can deck some stuff out with your scan and cut and your tin needle. You can make into hoop projects, onesies, t-shirts, purses, anything you name it. This machine will take care of it for you. What's really cool about this machine is you can actually come on here and screen. And let's say we want to put a name under here. So I'm going to come to the machine. I'm going to type in something. You can actually turn on a camera. And see live everything that's inside of your hoop. So I could actually drag this down and stick this design anywhere in this frame that I want it to go. So I want to go any farther. Turn this back. Can you cut that out? This is Ashton from Ruthie's Notions here in Baker, Florida. I'm over here with the Entrepreneur Pro X Brothers' newest tin needle. And right here I have this project that was made in the hoop. So I'm going to show you how you can actually create these projects in your machine really easily. So, I'm gonna go out. so right here you have this button called My Design Center. So without having to actually scan something in this machine, you can simply come here and hit a shape. And let's say we want to create a bunny. So I can come here and select the shape and hit OK. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here to this little page. And in this, you can either come in here and you can actually select a color. So if I want this bunny to be brown, I can literally change the color of this at a touch of a button. Or I can come back in here. I can do stippling and change the color. I can change the stippling. I can come back in here again. I can come right here and hit select. And it's going to give you all these really pretty decorative fills. So if I want my bunny to be really florally, I'm going to hit the floral and hit OK. I'm going to come and hit pink. And then I'm going to hit OK again. Just a touch of a button. So another cool thing you can do is so if you're wanting to use a specific hoop size, you can go back to your circle and your square. And I'm going to come right up here to this frame. So let's say I want to use my 14 inches by 7 and 7 eighths. Then I'm going to hit OK. So it just gave me a border around here. So let's say instead of my bunny being floral, the background could be floral. And I can come back in here and choose a different color for my bunny. Then I'm going to hit this button. Another cool thing you can do in here, you can actually come in here and edit the outline stitches. So I'm going to come right here. So you have all of these stitches to choose from. So let's say we want the outer edge of our bunny to be candlelit. I'm going to select the color. I normally select a color that's easier to see. So I'm just going to select a color that maybe you guys could see. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit the paint bucket. And I'm just going to come and touch the outer edge. Right now you can't see what I just edited. But when we go to the next phase, you will. So I'm going to hit Next. So this screen's actually really cool. You can actually click around and manipulate all the way through here. So if you decided which, once you got to the screen, if you want to change something, you can. If you don't, you'll hit preview and you'll hit OK. And then I'll actually give you an image of what we just created. And then I'll also tell you the colors that you can use. And then if you liked it, you would hit set and then hit okay.